Hey everybody, my name's Murdo McLeod, your mixologist today, and welcome to the September issue of the DevOps Mixology presentation. And today we have an observability theme. Uh, so guess where we are today, everybody? We are at the top of the Burj Khalif in Dubai, <laughs> observing everything that we can see around us from this amazing viewpoint. Uh, so how apt for today's theme. And uh, with today's theme, we're also going to be making up two different drinks. One, an alcoholic drink uh, called a Negroni. Uh, so we're making a classic Negroni today, um, but we're going to have uh, a special garnish with that observability theme. And then we're going to make a non-alcoholic drink, so I thought we'd make a no-groni. That's a no-groni, everybody. That is a negroni uh, with no alcohol. So we're going to recreate it as a mocktail. So here we go. And we're going to do something really different today as well. We are not going to shake any drinks. So instead, we're going to stir these drinks. And to do so, you will need a long spoon. Uh, so it doesn't have to be uh, twisted like this. Uh, but it does need to be long because it needs to get down to the bottom of the glass and there's a set number of rotations that you're going to do with this. Okay, so um, I hope you have the ingredients set out at home. Um, there's not many ingredients for this one. They're quite simple. Um, so let's do it. Let's make the Negroni first of all. So Negroni is a classic gin cocktail. Um, it's strong, um, it's sharp, and it's a definitely a sipping and savouring drink to drink. And today, we're going to make our Negroni with Dorothy Parker gin. Uh, so Dorothy Parker was a lady from New York who loved her drink strong. Um, and she really appreciated that. She was a really iconic lady from the city who loved her drinks. Um, so we're going to be making with this. Uh, you also need Campari, that one. And you need some vermouth. So we have the uh, Martini Reserve Special Rubino vermouth. So your cocktail, Negroni, is going to end up in a glass that looks like this. We need a short glass for it. And the first thing to do is add your ice. And then, so into the glass, we just need your ice, like so. And we are going to add the ingredients on top of the ice. And it's really easy, everybody. It's equal parts. So if we are going to do uh, 50 mils, then it's a 50 mil shot of uh, gin, put that in there, and for its equal measures everybody, so you then need 50 mils of Campari, like so, and yep, you guessed it, you need 50 mils of vermouth, there we go, beautiful. And then you can see already this lovely, luscious colour coming to life. You grab your spoon. Here is the drink. Grab your spoon. And what you need to do is need to twist round 47 times. 47 times is the ultimate in perfection in terms of the amount of rotations it's all about the dilution of the drink and the ingredients together in making this perfect Negroni 47. And there we go. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you some really special lovely garnish. So if you just take an orange like this and cut a section off the orange like that. Then what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to extract the oils of this orange and zest them all over the top of the drink. And if you watch really closely, observe really closely, um, then you're going to get a bit of a surprise because there is something that happens when we do this. So if you're watching, then here we go. So I'm going to heat, you heat up the orange, bring the essential oils to the surface like so. And then when I do a sharp, sharp squeeze, there we go. So if you're watching closely there, ladies and gentlemen, you'd have seen 
that citrus oil has been ignited and flaming all over the drink. So there we have it everybody, the classic Negroni with the flamed orange. So thank you very much. Uh, but we're going to also make a mocktail today. And so the mocktail we're going to make is a Negroni. So that's a Negroni with no alcohol. And so let's use a similar glass like so. Uh, fill this one up with ice. So again, you just need uh, lots of ice right there into the glass. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be using Strike, and Strike is a non-alcoholic gin. So it's non-alcoholic gin, uh, we need 50 mils of that into the mix. Um, now we need to adapt the measures slightly, so it can't be equal parts for this one. Because the third, uh, second thing we're going to use is pink grapefruit syrup. So pink grapefruit syrup and you just need 12.5 uh, mils. There we go, of the pink grapefruit syrup. And then we are going to add <clears throat> onto the top of this one, for taste, uh, 50 mils of apple juice. And then just drop that in. That's 50 mils of apple juice on the top. It's still 47 rotations. So round and round and round, 47 times please will make your optimum dilution ratio for this non-alcoholic cocktail, the No Grony. There we go. So these are sip and savour cocktails, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you do still want to add the drama and theatre um, from your garnish. I'm going to show you this uh, quite close up this time, if I may. So what I'm doing is um, you hold the piece of orange like so. You heat up the orange, but you do not squeeze it. That's very, very important to do not squeeze. When you start to see oils come into the surface of the orange, squeeze. And there you go. <laughs> uh, a big cloud of ignited citrus into the top of your drink. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the classic Negroni uh, made with Dorothy Parker gin and my spin, the no grony made with strike, not gin. That's what it's called, ladies and gentlemen, strike, not gin. So there we go. Something completely different this time. We didn't shake any drinks together. We stirred them, we made classics, and we gave them some twists. I hope you were all watching closely and observing what we were doing, because that's the theme. Great. So I hope you enjoyed today's mixology presentation uh, from the top of the Burj Khalif here in Dubai. Um, can't wait to get out in Dubai and explore the rest of today. But until then, I hope to see you very soon. We'll see you next month, in fact. And until then, goodbye.